Hey you guys, it's Catalia. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about lychees. So I'm filming this video on my phone, so I hope the quality's okay. Anyways, this is Astrid. Yeah, she was my very first lychee. And um, for the first part of this video, she will probably be joining me, unless she decides to get all grumpy, which may happen. <laughs> The point of this video is to show you my lychees. I have five of them right now, but as I show you my geckos, I'll talk about husbandry and care tips and the things that I've learned over the last four years of keeping and working with lychees. Also have this handy dandy Life of Giant Geckos book that I'll be referencing. Oh yeah, I'd also like to say, um, if you notice any poop on the glass over there, my geckos like to poop on the glass right before I film videos. So if you see any geckos uh, finger painting over there, just know I'm not a horror gecko owner and I do clean my tanks but it's impossible to keep them clean 24 7 isn't that right you do that to me all the time don't you so Astrid here, as I said, was my very first Lichianus gecko. Um, Astrid is a new Ami, uh, which is one of the smaller localities. And they tend to be uh, some of the most colorful of all the lychees. And as you can see, she's got beautiful patterns, very big white splotches. She's just gorgeous. I love you, Astrid. <coughs> So if you're new to lychees, you might have heard them called by a few different names. People call them giant geckos because they are the world's largest living gecko species. There was one that came before them that was even larger. That was called the Delcourt's giant gecko, but those are extinct. If I can find a picture, I will put that on the screen now so you can see it. It would be so cool to have Delcourt's giant geckos, but I do love you, Astrid. So in general, in my experience, lychees are pretty easy to care for. It's basically like caring for a giant crested gecko. They'll eat crested gecko diets, although a lot of people will give their lychees extra snacks, like sometimes brown bananas, seldomly of course. Sometimes they'll give Astrid a frozen thawed pinky mouse for extra protein. It's a really good snack for them because in the wild they'll eat all types of vertebrae. So they're very similar to crested geckos, but definitely not the same. It's basically crested gecko care, but magnified. Some people like to give their lychees basking lights. People have observed them utilizing uh, lighting and heat sources. Lychees do need to be kept at room temperature, similar to crested of geckos. Too much heat is definitely not good for a lychee. And that's to an extent. It does get up to like 85 sometimes in New Caledonia. But that being said, here in captivity we want to keep our lychees about 72, 73. That's optimal. What do you prefer? Okay, well, Astrid's getting a little squirmy. <laughs> but you can see how big she is. Her boyfriend Sully is even bigger. And some localities get way bigger than this. This is Sully. Sully is my male Lichianus gecko, and he was a little bit upset about me getting him out of his tank, so he's huffing and puffing at the moment. So it's kind of a 50-50 shot when you get a lychee, um, whether it's going to be very sweet or the devil. <laughs> and almost all of mine are the devil. I just kind of hit the bad luck when it came to the lychee temperaments. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I still love them. You gonna let me pet you? So Sully here is definitely my biggest lychee, and he is a Nuana Nuami cross, so he's a pretty boy. He doesn't really have as much of a good pattern as Astra does, but he does have some little pinks and purples dotted in his pattern, so that makes him very pretty. So as far as tanks for lychees, of course it depends on the size of the gecko. If you have a tiny little baby lychee, then you're gonna wanna put them in a smaller tank. Um, and this is so you can accurately monitor their pooping and their eating and so they can find their food. However, if you have a big boy like Sully, the bigger the better with a big old gecko like this. I think the minimum is considered an 18 by 18 by 24. Of course, it varies and there's differing opinions on what is the best size for a gecko, but rule of thumb, is the bigger the better for an adult gecko. So I got Sully from the same place that I got Astrid from, but I got him, I think, a year later. But if you've watched any of my gecko videos, then you probably know that I have not really been successful with breeding lychees. I paired up him and Astrid over the last four years. I have gotten one baby from them. <laughs> the good news is I do have another fertilized egg from Astrid. It's really weird. She only lays one at a time. I'm hoping that this time they will have another baby 
and my plan is to pair up Sully with my other gecko, Timley, who you will meet soon, because apparently him and Astrid just don't get along. That is one difficult part about breeding lychees. Uh, they are hard to breed, and they are very particular about their mate. They found tree cavities in the wild where pairs of lychees have been breeding and laying eggs for years and years. The same geckos stay together, and they stay in the same place to lay their eggs. It's really cool. They pick their partners, and they might not always be compatible, so it's not as easy as just buying a male, buying a female, and putting them together. <laughs> they have to be compatible, and if they don't like each other, you can keep trying, but basically you're out of luck. You have to buy another one. I think you do like Astrid. I think she just doesn't like you, because he tries to breed with her, and he likes her, but Astrid just doesn't like any men. They have sticky feet too, just like crested geckos, except their feet are really big and cute. They have sharp claws on each finger too, little nails helping them grab onto things. And they actually can drop their tail, it just doesn't happen very much with lychees, but they can drop their tail. Lychees are very vocal, they have vocal cords, and they have many different noises that they actually... Noises that they have. Did I spook you? <laughs> That was creepy. Leeches are usually very vocal and they'll make whistling sounds and even sometimes barking type noises. Um, and whenever they're trying to mate, they have a very distinct call that they make. It sounds like this. I'll just play it for you. Yeah. <laughs> Something else important to note is that they can also be very aggressive with their breeding. That's kind of what they're known for and some people believe all their extra flabby skin is meant for damage control because of how aggressively they breed and fight. Um, even if they are compatible and they're a compatible breeding pair, they can still mess each other up and give each other scars and bite each other and that's just kind of how it goes when they breed. If they're not compatible, well then, they can be especially dangerous to one another. So breeding lychees is not an easy task. Get him. He has a lot to say. Get him. Get him. Okay, so the next gecko I'll be showing you is Muppet. This gecko is special because it is the only baby that I have gotten from those last two geckos, Astrid and Sully. So yeah, Muppet is their baby. Their one single baby. Also, Muppet is evil. So technically Muppet would be also a Nuana Nuami cross because Astrid is a Nuami and Sully is a Nuana Nuami cross, so yeah. So I do plan on having more babies available in the future. I have this gecko and then I have my female Tinley and then I have one more to show you and they're all growing up and eventually I'll try to breed those probably. And I know a lot of people really want lychees. Um, they are very cool geckos and they are very sought after. But because they are so hard to breed and because they take so long to reach maturity, some Sometimes up to three years. The cheapest that I've ever seen babies sell for is around 400 but uh, depending on the locality, some babies themselves can be up in the thousands. You're being nice right now, just a little squirmy, huh? But adults, of course, they take time to reach that size and that age. I've never seen adults selling for less than a thousand. Some of them, like the GT and the larger localities, those are really up there in price and they're worth every penny. So Muppet actually has some really nice patterns. Oh yes, and Muppet is a girl, I found out, not a boy. But she has this really nice peppering throughout her body and really pretty bars, lots of white. So she looks more like Astrid than she does Sully, but she kind of has the lighter colors. Uh, Sully's a bit lighter in color. But yeah, that's Little Muppet, my very first lychee that I ever hatched. So the next gecko that I'm gonna get out and show you, everyone wants to see her on TikTok all of the time because I made a video with her and she was really cute in it. It looks like Tinley is in this log. Hi Tinley, how you doing in there? Tinley, if you couldn't guess, I picked up at my very first Tinley in ARBC show. I just felt it very fitting to name her Tinley. And she is actually a pure locality. She's my only pure locality lychee, uh, and she's a pure Nuana. Tinley, I want to show you to everyone. Well, I'm sure some of you guys know that lychees are my all-time favorite geckos, if I had to pick one anyways. They're just so amazing. They're so big. They're like giant gecko puppies. Gecko puppies. I like that. Oh, okay, I got her. She's not happy. She attacks people. Yes. Oh, she whistled. Did you hear it? But she's got amazing patterns. And every time I hold her, she likes to look up, thinking she can jump up there for some reason. Don't know why. Oh, whistle. Like I said, leeches are very vocal. Especially Tinley. She's already done with me holding her, so I guess I'll put you up. Oh. 
You agree. Okay. You're being so sweet when you're outside of your cage. Some lychees are just kind of cage aggressive, they call it. Meaning she's just a little territorial of her space and her cage. But once you get them out, then they can be sweethearts. Some lychees, some of them are just mean all the time. Like Astrid. Where are you trying to go? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> she's talking so much. Seriously, the best geckos ever. If you are wanting a lychee, I would recommend saving up for one. They are so awesome. <sighs> So, that leaves the one left. I know compared to crested geckos and all the other species I have, lychees, I don't have as many of, but again, they are harder to breed, they are way more expensive, and it takes forever for them to hit maturity. Technically, if they had been breeding well from the start, then I could potentially have like over 20 lychees right now. My lychees weren't compatible. The very first two I bought didn't like each other. Okay, let me get the last one. The last lychee is in one of these tanks because it's just a little one. And it can stay in these tanks because it's a small little gecko right now. But eventually, it will need a larger tank. Got it. And I say it because I don't know the sex of it yet and I'm not gonna guess. Also, I've had a horrible time deciding on a name for this little one. I got it at the last Conroe Reptile Expo. Um, if you wanna watch that vlog of the reptile show that I went to where I got this little one, I will link that on the screen now so you can see it. Whoa, babies tend to be more jumpy, I've noticed. If you have name suggestions for this little guy or girl, then let me know in the comments, cause I still can't decide. <laughs> You're looking up like Tinley does. Some of you may remember one of my old lychees named Pomegranate that I ended up selling because I thought that Astrid and Sully were going to be breeding. I sold Pomegranate, Astrid and Sully didn't work out. Pomegranate ended up pairing up great to the male owned by the person that bought her, so <laughs> they've had lots of babies out of Pomegranate and I really regret selling that lychee, so. And this is her baby, one of them anyways. It has really nice barring, really nice patterns. Yeah, I should name this one after a fruit too, huh? So, um, I hope this video was fun to watch. You got to see all my five lychees in one video and some care tips and advice here and there. If there is a topic on lychees you'd like for me to go in depth with, I would be happy to do that. I have a whole list of videos that I need to make still, but I would definitely like to cover more topics regarding lychees. So, if there's a certain question you have about your lychees or a lychee, then yeah, let me know in the comments. Also, I would like to say my very good friend Dave Kaufman actually went to New Caledonia where these geckos are from and he found them in the wild and I would very much appreciate it if you guys would go check out his series where he finds different localities of lychees because it can really give you a great idea of how these geckos live in the wild so anyways if you like geckos and you like lychees you should check out my other videos I have lots of videos about my other geckos and I actually just recently did a reptile room and animal room tour if you want to see all these cages and what's in them I will link that video on the screen now and in the description if you want to watch that. Subscribe for more lychee videos and more gecko videos and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and also if you have name suggestions for this little one let me know. And if you want to keep an eye on my availability for geckos or if you ever want to buy one of my geckos you can check out my website at catalia.com and my Facebook page and Instagram Catalia's Critters and you'll see all of the geckos that I have available on there and you'll also get notified when I have availability updates. Okay thanks for watching you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!